Fred Speaker was born and raised in Providence, uh, switching between the Olneyville and the Federal Hill neighborhoods and spending much of her childhood playing in Donegan Park. Um, 10 years ago, she became a river ranger for the Wenasquatucket River Watershed Council. And then after earning her degree in international studies and film and interactive media studies from Brandeis University, she began work at the Massachusetts College of Art and Design. Lucky for us, however, she stayed involved in improving the neighborhood um, that she loves and that she bikes in and that she um, benefits uh, through all of her good work. And she joined the board of the Wenasquatucket River Watershed Council. She lives in Olneyville, just a short walk away from the Mooney's Greenway and Path. And I'm so, so very pleased that Jen Racinos is here to speak with us today. Jennifer. Hi, hi everyone. Thank you so much. That was such a great introduction. Um, I'm honored to be here today with Janet Coit, Nellie Gorbia, Seth Magaziner, Rep. Joe Shikarshi, Mayor Donald Grebian, Kate Michaud, Jeff Deal, and George Nee. I especially want to thank Mary Ellen Goodwin for supporting WRWC. Um, as you mentioned, I'm here today representing uh, the Wenasquatucket River Watershed Council. I am a board member, but yes, 10 years ago I was um, just a river ranger cleaning up parks in Olneyville, uh, which was really important to me. I, I was born and raised there, and it was really great experience to, to help clean up the parks that I grew up playing in every day. Um, I've been amazed by the work that has come out of uh, Providence since then, um, how bikeways have developed and greenways have transformed. My favorite thing about being from Rhode Island and living in Rhode Island is, as you all mentioned, it's access to uh, beaches and parks, but what good is that if we can't swim in the water and if we can't eat the fish that comes out of the sea? Um, I spent much of my childhood hanging out in Newport Beach and Second Beach um, and Bristol with my mom, just going uh, clamming and, and looking for mussels, and that's one of my really fondest memories. Um, so for me, supporting this is really just investing in, in the quality of life for everyone and continuing those memories for future generations. Um, also, I want to mention that I have lived in other cities before, um, such as Boston and Oakland, and whenever I talk about Rhode Island, I think there's there's a really negative misconception that there's nothing to offer here, that there's nothing in Providence, and, and it's really frustrating to hear that, especially because I'm really proud of where I'm from, but yeah, I think there is a common misconception that there isn't anything here, and I think that is changing. Um, but I would like to, to continue that investment and continue growing that, um, that positive uh, perception of the city because I, I believe there is a lot to offer here and I would love to share that more with people, um, with tourists and, and just kind of share where I grew up. Um, so for me, it's definitely a new no-brainer to support this Green Bond and I hope that everyone would agree with that. Um, yeah, I thank you for, for inviting me to speak on that. Thank you, Jen, so much. Thank you for your voice and, um, and all you do. And, and I want to make clear um, that the Wenasquatucket River watershed isn't just a Providence issue. Um, it starts in uh, North Smithfield and runs through Gloucester, Smithfield, North Providence, and Johnston. And it is really one of the amazing stories of revitalization, of taking back um, a waterway and, and allowing the community to rediscover uh, a beautiful, beautiful urban river that now is teeming with life and vibrancy because of the work of the Wenasquatucket River Watershed Council and all of its supporters. 